Hey you guys, so I'm back again. I uh, want to tell you guys welcome to the month of Tibet. Um, we're going to talk about the month of Tibet and what God has dropped in my spirit about the month of Tibet. Um, you know, God, like I told you guys before, God has been taking me through the Hebrew calendar. He doesn't go off the Jagorian calendar. He goes off of the Hebrew calendar. So we're going to talk about Tibet because we are entering into the season of Tibet or the month of Tibet. All right. And so, um, Tibet is the fourth month of the Silva year and the 10th month of the Ecclesiastical year on the Hebrew calendar. It follows, um, Kislev and is pro and proceed Shavet. This is a month of 29 days. Tibet usually occurs in December and January on the Gregorian calendar. Okay. Um, Tibet is the 10th month of the Jewish calendar, counting from Nisan. Its name was mentioned in the book of Esther, was acquired in Babylonia, and shares a roof with the Hebrew word tov, meaning good. All right. And God took me to scripture when I saw that. Tibet pretty much means good. And he took me to scripture. He dropped the scripture in my spirit. He dropped Psalms um, 84, 11. This is the King James Version. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. All right. So during the month of Tibet, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, no good thing will be withhold from you in the month of Tibet. All right. Um also I want to share with you guys that Esther she was crowned queen um on the first of Tibet. Esther was crowned queen queen of Persia. Okay. And um after God had told me to I need to research Tibet so I can do this word. God been showing me a lot of stuff that's purple. Like he been showing me like purple flowers popping up on my screen. He even took me to the strong concordance, Hebrew concordance, um, the number 711. And that represents purple. And I'm like, okay, God, um, what are you trying to say? And God basically told me to go look up the spiritual meaning of purple, the biblical meaning of purple. All right. And purple can represent royalty, majesty, and high officials. Um, you can find that in Judges 8 and 26, Esther 8 and 15, as well as conveying the, convey, conveying the meaning of wealth, prosperity, and luxury. You can find that in Exodus 28, chapter the 5th verse, Ezekiel 27, chapter the 7th verse, Proverbs 31, the 20, then the 22nd verse, Psalms of Solomon 3 and 10, 7 and 5, and then Luke um, 16, verse 19, and Acts 16, verse 14, Revelation 17, verse 4, 18, um, verse 12, and chapter 16. All right. So if you have been seeing a lot of purple, um, God might be confirming to you wealth, prosperity, and luxury. All right. Now, purple has been used in the Bible too, as well as a form of mockery. Mockery when it came to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, but because they put a purple robe on him um, before they crucified him. Okay. So, out of mockery. But. The same people that mock Jesus end up being a believer, okay? Some of the same people that mock him end up being believers of Christ, okay? And some of the same people um, that want to set you up in this season, in this hour, will have to bless you. Um, I'm going go to chap I'm gonna go to Esther. Let me go to Esther. Esther chapter 8, verse 15. Um, this is when after Mordecai um, pretty much was um 
elevated to a higher position in the kingdom. This was after Esther had had they, you know, after Haman and stuff had um pretty much was killed. Um and Mordecai had to send out a new decree. Um Mordecai had to send out a new decree in order for the Jews to be saved, in order for the Jews to be protected to because of what Haman had did. But I'm going to read verse chapter 8, verse 15. And it says, Then Mordecai left the king's presence, wearing the royal wearing the royal robe of blue and white, the great crown of gold, and an outer coat of fine linen and purple. So his robe had purple in it, okay? And the people of Susha celebrated the new decree. The Jews was filled with joy and gladness that they were honored everywhere. In every province and city, wherever the kings declared arrived, the Jews rejoiced and had a great celebration and declared a public festival and holiday. And many of the people of the land became Jews themselves for they feared what the Jews might do to them. All right, so that was the word um, Mordecai and Esther put in a decree where the Jews could protect themselves um, because Haman had put out a decree to uh, a particular day for them to be killed. But God wants me to tell you guys in the month of um, Tibet, you might experience or come into a place of royalty, uh, come into a place of luxury, come into a place of wealth, prosperity, all right? Um, pro being prosperous during this hour, during this month. Um, you might actually really experience that in the month of Tibet, okay? Because that's what purple represents, all right? And the same people that mock you or try to set you up will probably be blessing you in this hour. I mean, um, don't find it strange if they have to come back and bless you in this hour. Um, they made a mockery of Jesus, and look what happened. Um, Haman tried to get Mordecai set up to be killed, and look what happened. So don't be surprised um, like I said, when you start to experience the wealth, the prosperity, the luxury during the month of Tibet, all right, don't be surprised when you start experiencing God's favor, um, like never before, um, over your life during this month, what people will, what people will have to reverence you in the month of Tibet, okay, so, um, just wanted to come and share this, um, thank you, Holy Spirit. You might even be celebrated in the month of Tibet. All right. Um, so the month of Tibet starts December the 13th and it goes all the way to January the 10th. All right. So just wanted to come and share the month of Tibet, which I might be expecting. Um, some of y'all will probably also enter into y'all Esther season, be crowned as Esther. Um, some of y'all mar might get engaged or get married during this time. Some of y'all, if y'all have been seeing the color purple, I've been seeing the color purple a lot and purple is my favorite color. Um, and I've been seeing the color purple a lot and even God showed me the number 711 twice and then told me to look it up in the Hebrew concordance and it relates to the color purple. So get ready, you guys, for God to do something amazing in this season of Tibet. Like I said, I'm going to read the scripture again. Psalms 84 and 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will be withhold from them that walk uprightly. All right. So I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will chat with you all later.